sit like this. This is okay. I feel really far away. Do I need to zoom you in? I feel like I should be reading to you. Like this is reading Rainbow or something. I'm in this like fancy wingback chair and hello. Today we'll be reading. No, we're not doing that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been not just a minute, but like five months. <laughs> Um, this video, I don't, I don't really have anything written up or what I want to say. I just thought I needed to do some sort of update video, even though I probably don't have that many followers that care a whole lot, which is cool. I'm fine with that. But this is just more so I'm not just randomly uploading and stuff. Um, so it's kind of like to ease me back into YouTube, I guess or back into what I want to be doing. Um, so yeah, this is just going to be a quick life update video. I really need to get back to cleaning the house and organizing and laundry and all of that stuff. Um, but I wanted to sit down and I have a few minutes to just sit and take some time and talk to the camera, talk to you guys, uh, about what's been going on lately. Which, no, it's nothing like serious like just normal life stuff um but let me just let me just explain it to you so when i started uploading videos to my youtube channel i was really wanting to be consistent on it as in when i say cons consistent i mean like at least two videos a week um because i know that most youtubers that make this their job they're uploading you know two to three times a week sometimes more and it was something that I have thought about doing for a long time and I was interested in doing it. Um, I'm obsessed with makeup. I really enjoy makeup. I love playing with makeup. I love talking about makeup. I, you know, there, I have so many other interests, you know, I really like, um, traveling. I love journals and journaling and being organized and things like that. And also I wanted to share my life. Um, on YouTube a little bit because you know I feel like I have I'm going through a unique journey right now and even though growing up I, I led a fairly normal life that I would um, consider normal but I've also had a lot of experiences that I know a lot of other people experience and I wanted this to be an outlet for me to share my passions share my interests but also share my experiences because I want people to learn not just about me as a person, but learn from mistakes I've made, decisions I've made, um, you know, maybe I have some tips or suggestions or advice on something you might be going through and I really want to create a channel and a place that I can share those things with people and people can access those things. So I wanted to be consistent. and. I wasn't at the beginning because there is a learning curve when it comes to YouTube you know you're learning how to talk to a camera it's really awkward to sit and talk to a camera and try not to look at yourself in the viewfinder <laughs> you know there's a lot of learning about you know technology and then editing and then um, uploading and how to bring people to your channel and things like that how to pe how people can see your content that you're creating it was a lot to take on at first and I'm young you know, I'm 26. I know how the internet works. I've had a computer since I was probably seven. You know, I grew up in the, this technological world, but things change a lot, and uh, I it was just a lot to take on. And when you start a YouTube channel, well, when I start my YouTube channel, my goal is to yes, make income from this channel in some way, shape, or form. But I'm seeing YouTubers that already have, you know, 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 subscribers or more. And I know that I can't get there overnight, you know. It's going to take a lot of videos, a lot of uploading, a lot of consistency, a lot of interaction with uh, my audience to get there. And I'm 
I'm okay doing those things. I am prepared to do those things, but life happens. <laughs> Basically, that's what that's what this title is. Life happens. Um, and so I haven't been able to give YouTube or my blog um, or my passions really any of that time that I want to spend on them. Um, we moved houses and towns in April, but before we could do that I had to clean, paint, um, and get this house in order before we could move everything in because this house was not pretty looking. So we had to do all that before we could move, move in. And then while we were doing that, we were also selling the previous house we were in, or the current house we were in at the time. So we had to clean that, move everything out, get it organized, boxed up. It was very hectic um, and crazy. And I had also started a new job at the coffee shop we own. And that was early mornings. I had to be at the coffee shop by 6 a.m. Or no, I had to be at the coffee shop by 5.30 because we opened at 6. So that was fun. Um, so that was going on. I, I hadn't had a job for, it was almost a year. It would have been a year this July that I had been unemployed and just being a stay-at-home wife. And I really enjoyed that. I loved being a housewife. Um, I was probably a little lazier and didn't take advantage of the time I had at home, which really is disappointing. <laughs> I wish I would have... Um, taken advantage of that and done the things I want to be doing now. So we moved. So we've been working on the house here and there when we could. And then, you know, when we're exhausted from working on the house and working at our jobs, we just come home and like just zone out and chill. I wasn't delving into editing the videos I already recorded. Even though I was continuing to make content, I was continuing to film and vlog. It was mostly vlogging. I didn't like sit down and film videos, really. And so... I just, I just didn't have the energy to put into doing those things. And when I was working at the coffee shop, I don't have the energy to wake up 30 minutes early to do my makeup and be at work at 5.30. I'm not waking up at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. to do that. So I wasn't really wearing makeup that often anyway. So that was going on. And then I was going through some struggles with my PCOS, um, my infertility, which... I promise to address in a video. I want to share our infertility journey and what has been going on, how I found out I had PCOS, all of that. That's going to be in a separate video, but anyway, that's beside the point. I will link that at some point whenever that video is created. Um, so I had been struggling with my PCOS, not like physically struggling, but like mentally and just, you know, we're in this new house and I, I pray about this being the house that we'll get to start raising our children in. And just, you know, I, coming, not coming to terms, but just uh, trying to understand what God has in store for me. Because I am just out here like, I know what I want in my life. And God is providing different things. Like, I know God's there. I know God's a part of this. I know that God is with me through this. I have seen him show up in many ways and many times. Um, but not in the way I want, um, which would be to have a child. So I was struggling with that a little bit, which, you know, creates anxiety and depression. And just, you know, I, I just didn't feel like doing anything. I didn't want to go to work, but I had to go to work and... When I wasn't at work, I just wanted to take naps and watch YouTube and movies and, like, I just didn't want to do anything. Um, so that's hard. I think around June or July, um, I actually switched jobs. So I was only working at the coffee shop for a couple of months. And then I was just feeling... I don't even know. I think it was just the early mornings. I just hated waking up in the mornings, which I'm not a morning person. But I'll have you know, I never was late to work. I was always on time to work. And once I got to work, I, I was pretty good by 6 a.m. Like, it wasn't that big of a deal for me to be awake. But I just didn't like waking up. Waking up is, like, the hardest thing in the world for me. So I switched jobs, and now I work, like, from 9 a.m. to 6-ish. You know, that's kind of my schedule now. But I'm working more hours, and I have more responsibility, and it's more involved than making coffee. <laughs> And so that's a whole 
new ball game. And then my husband also switched jobs. So he plays a big role in the coffee shop, um, doing numbers and stuff. And since I switched jobs and I'm now making more money, my income is higher, we've moved off of his income and just basically we're just living off of mine and what he makes a coffee shop a couple of days a week. He still does lawn care and stuff. Like, I'm, I'm not worried about my husband. He'll do any job he needs to to take care of us. Like, it's not a big deal. We talked about it. It's okay. Don't worry about us. <laughs> but he switched jobs also. So I'm the main income of our household right now. And he is helping out a lot more with the coffee shop, doing not just behind the scenes, but working in the coffee shop and kind of learning um, about the process of coffee and stuff like that. So that puts another aspect of stress on me because I spent almost an entire year not having a job and being at home and taking care of the house and all that. Not saying I did a great job at it, but that's what I was doing. Um, and now I'm working 30 to 35 hours a week at a job that's 9 to 6 typically and it's not my passion. Yes, I like shoes, but these aren't like fashion shoes. These are mostly comfort shoes for older people. You know, it's not, I don't, it's not what I want to be doing. And my boss knows that. Like my, my goal in life is to be a stay at home mom. And I told my boss that before he hired me and I, my whole family knows that. I don't want to work a nine to five. I don't want to work in the workforce. I want to be at home taking care of kids, taking care of the house, you know, changing diapers, f feeding. I, I, that's what I want to be doing. I didn't know I was going to get emotional. Okay. I really didn't expect to cry. I have no tissues in here. <laughs> that is what I want to be doing with my life. And I also want to spend time doing YouTube and sharing my life and sharing my story and helping people and encouraging people. And I really, I want my YouTube to be that. I want to see it shift. I want, I want to put more time and effort into it. Especially when I have the time right now. I don't have kids, so I don't have to worry about going and feeding and putting babies to sleep or whatever. And I want to be able to create that space I want on my channel before that time comes, when that time comes. Um, and now I'm working more hours. <laughs> Which apparently is very stressful for me right now. I. Don't know why that made me emotional. Um, so that's been going on. And then um, I went to see a new doctor for my PCOS. And we are seeing a natural natural path, nat naturopath doctor, an integrative health doctor, which basically means um, instead of medicating me for PCOS to get pregnant, we are first like addressing lifestyle, diet changes, things like that. At the end of July was our first appointment for that, which was very encouraging. I was looking forward to that. So that's been going on. I've been trying to get things figured out there. And then just this past month, um, a week ago, actually a week ago was visitation, um, Anthony's grandpa passed away. I just feel like it's been so chaotic in our lives since April. Um, but Grandpa passed away last week, almost two weeks ago. It'll be two weeks on Thursday. Um, so that was hard. I put together the memorial video of photos, which Anthony actually asked me if that was hard to do, and it wasn't, I wouldn't say it was hard to do. I enjoyed doing it because I enjoyed looking through um, all the photos and just like the life that he lived. Um, and I've known him as my grandpa for the past seven years, basically. Um, even though I've only been married for four years, seven years ago is, no, six years ago. 
2012, six years ago. So the past six years, he's been my grandpa, basically. Um, and we, we had a special bond, and um, I did talk at the funeral, which it, it was very nice that I had people come up and, like, you know, say I did a good job or that they enjoyed what I said or, you know, thanked me for talking. And it wasn't... It wasn't for them, it was more for me just to share the relationship I had with Grandpa. I know that it, w it would have been harder for anyone in the family to speak and I, f I felt that someone in the family should speak um, because I would want someone from my family to speak at my funeral. You know, I don't expect them to do it without crying, but I would want someone to get up and say, you know, talk about how much they love me or what I meant to them. Um, not because I want them to say nice things about me, but because I would want them to ex... I, I'm just an expressive person, I guess. I'm just a person of words. I love words and I love writing and speaking, apparently. Um, so I, I just felt like I needed to do it, so I did it. And everyone's like, oh, you're so brave, you know, I couldn't do that, I would, you know, I'd be crying, I would make it through. And I totally understand that, because I, sometimes, I, I don't know how I made it through, because he meant a lot to me. But I just, you know, I just, it was just something I needed to do, and I did it. Um, same with the video, it was something I wanted to do, and I did it. So that's been hard, but I really, I just wanted to get on camera because I miss being on camera. That sounds weird. I, I miss YouTube. I miss being part of the community. I miss making videos. I miss talking to you guys, even if you guys is just five people. That's okay. Um, I, I want this to go somewhere and I want to put more effort into it and more time. So I'm going to try and do that. But I just wanted to reintroduce myself to the YouTube world again and um, hopefully get back on track and doing stuff and doing what I enjoy um, which I think is really important and important I think is really important especially when there's so much chaos and crazy going on out in the world it's important for me to focus on something that I enjoy doing um, and I enjoy being creative so if that means filming, if that means editing and posting a video, if that means doing my makeup, um, writing, editing my book, which I really need to get on that too, um, I, I need to do those things. And I don't currently make enough time to do those things. Um, so yeah, I think that's, I think that about covers it. I didn't, I didn't want this to be a long video. I really hope I can edit it be shorter than whatever it is. What you're going to be seeing in the next couple of weeks is probably a lot of the older stuff I've already filmed and just haven't had time to edit yet because I want to work through the older stuff before I start getting too deep into doing new stuff. But I do have some new stuff to show you and play with and do. I literally have a basket of makeup I've bought over the last few months that I haven't used because I'm waiting to use it on camera as a first impression. and. It's killing me that I haven't used it yet. So, thank you guys so much for being here today. I really enjoyed talking to you and just updating you about my life. If you are going through any of these things that I talked about, infertility or death in your family or just the stress of life and busyness, uh, I would love to talk with you down in those comments below. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Yes, I have Facebook. <laughs> Those links will all be down below, and you can check them out if you would like to. Um, but I would like you to subscribe if you'd like to see the stuff I'll have coming out soon. <laughs> Alright, so I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you for being here today, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye.